Hey, what's going on? We're in Shimo Kitazawa. It's a neighborhood in, um, in Tokyo. And I've never been here before. Let's see what we can find. Got the camera again. Uh, yeah, six mixture pictures. Walk around a bit. See what it's like. It's a very uh, hipster area, as far as I heard. So, let's see if it's actually true. So far, it seems a bit that way. It reminds me a lot of a really cool area in Seoul, Korea. Alright, let's see how far this actually goes. If we're going the right direction, we are. to the east.
go through
things I read online were pretty much correct. It is a very hipster place, but... often in uh, that neighborhoods the block from that busy street and now the only thing you can actually hear is the hum of the vending machine and the old lady sweeping the floor. It's incredible. And we're just going to keep going. We might move to some bigger street because I think we'll hit a dead end otherwise. This road should lead us in the right direction. No, it does not. Interesting. In that case, we're going to cross the road here. I don't know how I do it, but each week I'm getting lost for some reason.
station on the other side of the area, so uh, we walked quite a decent bit. It was fun, even though it was not very eventful at the end. Anyway, uh, I still hope I enjoyed it. And next week, I promise it's going to be a more exciting video because then we're going to actually go outside of Tokyo for a little bit and check out some uh, cool temples and along the sea. So, yeah, hope to see you then. Uh, take care. Bye. Hey, it's me again. Still the same day. Um, when I was on my way home, I uh, figured I wanted to uh, quickly get out and visit the location I've been visiting before, which is called uh, Yasukuni Shrine, which is very close by. So uh, it's a beautiful day still, so I figured I will take you guys along. Um, I've got about 20 minutes left to film, so yeah, I want to take you with me. And this is. Um, Actually, I'm not really sure which station this is. This is a different station from what I got out. And you can see the people over there. There are they are fishing, which is uh, quite funny. Actually, there's like this big open water next to it, but people prefer fishing in these little small ponds, I guess. It's kind of funny. Anyway, let's uh, let's let's move. Very cool place this. If I remember correctly, there's a um, museum here on the right. I think. If I remember correctly, because part of it is free. I want to quickly show you this one. It's a massive thing. So the cool thing is this is a... Uh, well, it's not cool, but... This train used to arrive in between uh, Thailand and Laos. Or Lego and Laos, I think that's what you pronounce it in English. The train track that runs from Thailand all the way to Laos was built by uh, prisoners of war. And this very engine used to run on that railway. It's actually when you go to Thailand and you go to the, to the northwest, you can still ride a train that runs along that track. We actually did that last year. It's a very beautiful track. And a lot of loaded history. Anyway, let's get out of here. you guys along for this one um, because it was in my neighborhood and it's a very nice place to check out real quick uh, so yeah this was it for this week hope you join me again next week all right see ya take care bye